for Penn State, a 9-5 on vault and 9-8 on bars. Good performance for her on floor. And now back over to Balance Beam for an exhibition routine. Yeah, we have Lexi doing an exhibition tonight, which I think that she's one of those, and as we talked with Megan earlier this week, she's one of those ones that really vied for that starting spot with Shannon. And I don't know. We'll have to see how this routine goes. And see, a healthy competition, I think, is good competition. That means each of the girls have good routines that they're able to put up. That starter position is a very key one to put the right person in. And so far, she performed a back answering layout step out with a bit of a balance check, which we saw at Red Rocks, too. She needs to gain a little more control of her upper body on that skill so she doesn't have her shoulders shift to make her unaligned. Yeah, they were ready to go with Alexia Burst to lead off. Arm Beam had a bad break at Red Rocks, and he just felt we need a consistent performance. You said Shannon had looked better, and despite having a rough go of it last year, they thought she's a senior. She needs to be given a chance, and Shannon yeah. with the knife. But still, Alexia can have some chances perhaps down the road this year to lead off on Beam for Utah. Absolutely. I think she really needs to continue to build confidence, and kind of as we talked about, McKenna worked really hard on her mental choreography on balance beam, and I worked on that a lot in my college career. And that's extremely important because you don't really want to be giving yourself technical corrections while you're performing. You want to go on autopilot. And to me, it looked like she was kind of coaching herself through that routine. She and Shannon. So both of them, I think, need to show a little more confidence to secure a spot.